Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Uh, today what we're going to do is a nice uh, chicken dish. We're going to make a, a nice uh, chicken with a uh, nice uh, creamy pesto sauce. And for the creamy pesto sauce, we're going to use some cream cheese. But at any rate, uh, if you don't have, uh, if you don't grow your own uh, basil and make your own pesto, you can use store-bought, it doesn't matter. You can use uh, Philadelphia cream cheese, you can get the block or you can get the whipped kind, doesn't matter. And we're going to put some cheese on top. So I'm going to use mozzarella, but you can use really whatever you like. I'm also going to use the oven. So without further ado, I got chicken breast here. I can show you what we're going to do with it. So without further ado, let's get to it. It's going to be a nice dish. You guys will like it. Here's my little pan. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to use my uh, toaster oven. I think that'll be a nice thing for us. <laughs> Won't get too out in the kitchen. Here's uh, our bulk mozzarella cheese, shredded. Here's a couple chicken breasts. And the reason I did this on top, my theory is all the stuff will stay in there better than it would if we didn't do that. Back here, I still got my homemade pesto thawing out, and I got my uh, cream cheese trying to get soft doing its thing. There's the packet. Here I have one chicken breast. I'm going to show you what I did. And uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so what we're going to do is take your chicken breast, all right? And these have been sitting out about 10 minutes, I guess, give or take. And uh, this is what I do normally. You guys, I don't think you ever see me have a whole chicken, chicken breast, but uh, this is what I do for my chicken scraps. I want to clean the chicken. Certain parts of it I keep, certain parts I throw away. The parts I keep is what's going to go into my uh, my ground chicken that I make myself. Like that. Okay, so now, trust me, when it comes to this stuff, I don't want no, nothing that doesn't look like chicken, part of the chicken. <laughs> All right, so anyway. So what I'm, my theory, like I said, is to slice this up like that, do a couple little slices, so that one will put the, the covered, I mean, the cream, cream dressing on here, hopefully it'll sink into them grooves. And this also will help it cook quicker, too. So you just hold your knife on an angle and just do a little slice like that, just enough to give a little valley or whatever you want to call it, trough. Just something easy. Don't go all the way through. You gotta watch if the chicken starts getting thin on one end. Then I take it and I just rotate it like so. And then I cut it again on an angle. Let me cut this piece here just a little. Okay, so you see how you got it all open, huh? Okay, so now I'm going to throw this on the dish. This is, is a kind of a quick recipe, really. Now, the other thing you can do a little trick if you want to make it look kind of nice is you can put a little bit of a, a little bit of a spaghetti sauce and mix it in with your uh, pesto and your cream cheese. Anyway, I'm going to throw this in the in, not this not the chicken, but I'm going to throw the uh, pesto and the cream cheese in the microwave for couple seconds to help soften it up it's still not there but it's getting there okay I put my pesto in that back in for another 20 seconds so while that's happening I'm gonna give us a little salt and pepper on our uh, chicken here front and back or top and bottom however you like to say it I can't stick that hand back in there, Mr. Dan. You get in trouble. Ooh. Oh. And then I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of a uh, Seasoning. It's Italian seasoning, by the way. Now, you don't have to do any of this. I'm just doing it because I like to. 
Okay. I know my, now my stuff's ready. I'm playing games, huh? Alright, take this and flip it back around. I'm telling you, you guys are going to love it. Anyway, like I said, you, you can also make it uh, look different. A little pizza, a little uh, spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce, uh, pizza sauce, whatever you got. And just mix it in when you're mixing your thing. And you make a nice pink color. And people go, oh, what did you do to do that? <laughs> I tell people they laugh. you got to be kidding me. I said, no, I'm not kidding. That's the way I do it. Huh. That's the way I roll, man. <laughs> All right, let me get my cream cheese mix out of here. Hopefully, it's nice and gooey by now. Whoops, it. There. The other thing I like about this is, wait till you see this, see? All my, the oil from the pesto has come out of there. Awesome. Give me a little mix. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Look at that, huh? Now, this is about a third of a cup of pesto I'm putting in here with the eight ounce of cream cheese. And you can see I have the oil. Uh, this is going to be nice. It smells divine in here. Gene divine. <laughs> People think I'm crazy. There was a nurse I used to work with named Gene divine. She was an older lady, but... Uh, she used to have a catering business. She made a nice brisket like nobody's business. I got news for you. It was the best out there in Oklahoma. But anyway, that's my oven. Tell me it's ready, and I do believe we are ready now <coughs> with my pan. Let me uh, move this out of the way. I don't need it no more. Move this out of the way. I don't need it no more. And what we're going to do is place our chicken in the pan. Okay. Put this one this way. Make sure everybody's got enough room. I'm only doing three today. You can do up to four, I believe. With that, I think that's enough dressing for four. Okay. So. I don't want to touch nothing. <laughs> All right, let's move this over here. Where you guys can see what I'm doing. This is no sleight of hand. This is just what we do here. So now I'm going to take this. I'm just going to slather it on there. Nice. Look at that, huh? And I'm going to make with this, I'm going to have uh, some uh, rice on the side and some broccoli. That's going to be mine and Penny's dinner tonight. Trying to get back on the road because we're both uh, going to need assistance <laughs> getting up and down out of a chair or whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay. Chewing not that bad, but we don't want to let stuff get out of control. Mm-hmm. I think if, them, if I'm not mistaken, this here would be, I have to ask my daughter, she's a keto professional, but everything that's here on this dish, I think would be great for somebody that's on keto, huh? And the, the pesto, oh my goodness, huh? wait till you guys, if you guys never made the pesto recipe I gave you, you should try once. <laughs> You can put it on almost anything. Toast. You can put it on eggs. Put it in a salad. Put it in a pasta. There's one a pasta dish I had a long time ago, but it was another kind of pesto. It wasn't your run-of-the-mill pesto. It was 
they use whatever they got vegetable wise it's re regional it's a regional pesto it's somewhere in Italy but anyway Try not to get it too thick in spots, but I also want to make sure we get everything covered too. Okay. So now I'm done with this. We're going to stick this in the uh, oven. Like I said, I'm putting it at uh, 375. I think 350 would be good. It just takes a little longer. But this is not going to take that long. It'll take about 25, 30 minutes, maybe, maybe a little longer. So let me put this in, and we'll be right back. Oh, look at me, Sandra D. <laughs> I almost forgot to put my cheese on top of here. we got to put some... Mozzarella cheese on here. I think we're going to get some more rain. We've been getting a lot of rain this year. But a lot of years we didn't get nothing for the past, I don't know how many years, but now, now we're, we're cooking. We used to get rain every day. And now let's come back to that just about every day. But it's good for us, it saves on our water bill. Unlike some of you people, we gotta pay for all our water, so. Now this cheese here still is a little cool to the touch. As a matter of fact, it's a lot cool to the touch because I had it in the freezer. Like I said, we buy this in bulk, it saves money. And we have fun with cheese, Penny loves cheese. And this is going to be cheesy for her from the word go. <laughs> Wash my hands again. Drop a little, little Italian seasoning. I think I'm going to put a surprise on here for my wife. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of I wish I had my, <coughs> I don't want to give my homemade jalapenos yet because she still has, says it's hot in her mouth. <laughs> oh, whatever. Let's give us a little bit, a little bit of heat. And I mean just a very tad bit. This is going to be cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. Caramelization of the protein, but I don't know if we're going to get too much caramelization. Okay, well, let me uh, just go in the oven right quick, so we'll be back momentito. Okay, guys, my oven just beeped. Let me take these up. I think you're going to like the presentation we got here, I'm hoping. And now, for the big, big reveal. Woohoo! Look at that, huh? Mm. So now let's give us a little check here. 163, 164, 165, 162. Okay, that's going to cook a little more. Alright, this one's 172. Ooh, must be hotter on that side of the oven. Alright. So, my friends, let me let this cool a bit, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm going to see if I can scoop this over here. Right to the dish there. Oh, that's hot. Whoa. Hmm. All right, let me get some of this here cheese. Cheese, please. <laughs> All right. Put us a couple pieces of... Uh, basil on there to let people know that there's a basil pesto in there somewhere and we're good I'll let this cool off a tad bit more and we'll meet you at the taste test table 
Okay, guys, there you have it. Let me shut the tape. Okay, ladies and germs, here we are. <laughs> Hope everybody can see me. <clears throat> Not that I just watch the mouth. I'm going to tell you how quick this is going to go. <laughs> wow. If this does not look like, I mean, come on, look at that. Is that beautiful or what? <laughs> I'm going to try to cut it with just a fork and see how it works. Hmm. I can tell you it's going to be hot. I burn my face off. Mm. <clears throat> wow. Mmm. <laughs> There's so many variations of this recipe out there. But this to me was the simplest. And right about now, I think it's probably one of the tastier ones. <laughs> anyway, one more bite. Ooh, didn't even need a knife. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That was the last of my homemade pesto I have in here. So, tomorrow I'll be plucking some basil leaves off. I might save these now, my kid. <laughs> Make another batch of pesto. This time I think I might do walnuts. I have walnuts and pecans left. Pecans. This is a delicious, delicious dish, and I purposely won. I'm glad it turned out the way it did. Uh, it's probably 32 minutes I had it in there, honestly. And <clears throat> that's because I kept wanting the cheese to brown a little bit more. <laughs> and plus, the middle piece of chicken, it wasn't coming up to temp like the other two. <laughs> At any rate, you can have this with whatever you like, pasta. I'm doing mine with rice tonight and some broccoli. Boy, that stuff is good. I'll take one more bite and I'm out of here. <laughs> so, if you like the recipe, give us a thumbs up. Share with your friends, enemies, cohorts of crime. Mmm. 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 Who believes so few ingredients? Mmm. It's so nice and moist. Mmm. Let's get back to it. If you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. When you do so, the notification bell will pop up. You hit that, you'll be notified each and every time we come up with another video. A little arrow down below the video box there in the lower right hand corner. Uh, there you'll find, uh, you hit that button, the drop-down box will come down. That'll give you a link to Cooking Wizard and Facebook page, a link to my daughter's artworks art page, and a complete list of all the ingredients that we put in this delicious, delicious dish. So, my friends, stay hungry. When you are, you come back. We'll give you another delicious dish just like this. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. This is Mr. Dan saying we're out for now.